Welcome everyone. This video demonstrates how to retouch portrait images in exposure. This includes balancing uneven coloring, clearing up skin, and other useful adjustments. Exposure, our advanced non-destructive photo editing and organizing application, is being used for the entire workflow in this tutorial. If you don't already own Exposure, you can download the free trial from our website. Exposure has portrait retouching presets that apply several retouching effects in separate layers all at once. They free you from having to start from scratch for each image you retouch, which saves you time. After one of these multiple layer presets are applied to your image, you can then use Exposure selection tools to control the application of each layer's effects. The Touch Up preset covers the retouching basics. It includes a layer for softening skin, one for enhancing the iris, and one for whitening teeth. The next option is Touch Up and Background, which includes the three basic Touch Up layers and an additional layer that blurs and darkens the background, which helps you easily draw attention to your subject. The last option is the Touch Up and Red Eye preset. It includes the basic three touch up layers and a layer with an effect that removes red eye. Bright highlights on skin is usually not wanted, as it can result in a loss of detail. A few simple adjustments can recover it. For large areas of skin that are bright and shiny, create a mask using the color constraints for the main skin tone. The process is similar to how you would control skin smoothing effects. Refine the luminance constraints and the saturation to select only the brightest values within the skin selection mask. With the mask in place, make adjustments to the highlights and whites sliders to recover hidden details. Highlights will target the lighter values and whites changes the true white value in the image. These adjustments may only make gentle and delicate changes to the photo, but they are just as important as stronger effects. Press the backslash key to visualize the effects and to dial in the look. There are many reasons for uneven skin tones in portraits. Skin can show blotches when people are too hot or cold or if they have dry skin or even if they are uncomfortable. When the unevenness of skin tones are distracting, reduce their impact with the HSL controls on the color panel. The process of fixing blotches is the same as when correcting bright spots. Create a new layer to correct the skin tone's color. To make the coloring easier to see, temporarily raise the saturation slider on the basic panel to give it more color while you make the selection. Use the color constraints to create a layer mask of the red spots with the hue eyedropper. Then make adjustments to narrow the mask to the appropriate areas. And then set the saturation on the basic panel back to normal. Open the color panel and use the hue targeted adjustment tool. Click and drag to change the values within the red region of the skin. The subject was flushed, so we've reduced the impact by adding more of a yellow tone to the red in our photo. Because the subject is flushed, we can also reduce the saturation of that tone using the saturation slider. Small distracting elements like skin blemishes are easily removed with the spot heal tool. When the Spot Heal tool is open, the Spot Heal brush cursor will appear when you hover over the image preview. Spot Healing enables you to quickly remove distracting elements from your images. Zoom into an area in the photo where you want to make adjustments. Then refine the brush to fully cover the feature or features you want to remove. For small blemishes, simply click one time to remove them. Exposure will intelligently choose a source area for the repair, which you can easily reposition if you'd like. You can create as many regions as you want to for touching up your photo. To heal larger regions, simply click and drag. You can always relocate the region Exposure chooses. Notice the hand icon, which indicates that the cursor is over a region that you can move. 
To delete a region, right click and select delete from the menu, or you can select a region and press backspace or delete on the keyboard. Additionally, from the right click menu, you can set how the outlines will appear. Set them to auto or always, or if the image is crowded with display borders, you can switch it to active or to never. You can customize the appearance of spot healing regions by adjusting the size, feather, and opacity sliders. Feathering adjusts how the healed area fades out around the edges. Opacity sets the transparency of the blend. Lower settings show more of the original area, while higher settings completely cover it. Notice there are two sets of heal region controls. The top set of sliders control the active spot, and the bottom set of sliders control your next brush. Each brush has two modes, Heal, which we've been using in this demonstration, and Clone. Clone is useful for areas with patterns like grass or trees. It can also be used, like we'll do here, to replace one of these crooked tassels on the cowl. This is where it becomes very important to move the source area placement. And that completes our lesson on retouching portraits in exposure. Thanks for watching. You can learn more about exposure over on our website, exposure.software. If you'd like to get updates about all our latest videos, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube.